What's going on guys and welcome back to Leeds Career Mode Sleeping Giants where last episode, if you haven't watched it, links in the description, it was an average episode. You know, we started our season, didn't go too great for us, but we're hoping to improve in this episode. I was talking about doing three games an episode, but the file just turns massive and uploading is a fucking chore. So I'm just going to do two games an episode. And uh, yeah, hopefully that'd be better. But anyway, I'm gonna do a bit of scouting. I've got um, and we've got some messages here. Let's have a look. We have Casper Sloth. We can get rid of Casper Sloth. It's over his value, which I like. I like selling players for more than their value. Obviously, if we can just push it up a little bit more, you know, if they can give us 900k, that would be lovely business. Because I'm not gonna play Sloth. Uh, we we kind of stacked in that kind of sentimental area, the little technical players. We kind of we got a lot of players that can play there, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna do some scouting of the MLS and hope that we can find some type of bargain. So I'm gonna have a look at players, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so I did a little bit of scouting in the MLS and another couple of uh, Premier League players, and this is what I've come back with. I don't know the value yet. We have to like scout the players and inquire, but this is what I've come up with so far. Darlington Nagby, who I've seen play for the Portland Timbers. He has a nice pace, good ball control, and he'd be handy just off the striker. And he can also play on the wing, so he would be a good sign-in. Valeri, his teammate who plays just off the striker, who's technically very, very good. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know what the what the values would be. Hopefully, Nagby's around 1 million. I'm hoping, and we can just push that down to just under 1 million to get a deal done. Valeri might be a bit too much. But maybe if we can like play a sort of someone like Antonucci to sweeten the deal. Nick Powell is another one. You know, technically he's a nice player, but um, ain't really had his chance at Man United. At Crew, he was very highly rated. They, like they bought him, and we everyone thought Nick Powell was going to be that guy. He's going to be the new one. Ain't heard too much of him for the last couple of years. So hopefully, that's that's I might loan him, but I might see what his value is first, and if he's in a good price range to buy, we'll do that. Anyway, our next game comes up against Middlesbrough Way, who are currently top of the league in real life, top of the championship by I think I think four points, and they're what I think their favourite to come up. So this is going to be a difficult game. Okay, bringing in Liam Bridcut for Alex Moat, who's a was is a little bit tired. You can see down the bottom right there is a little tired. Moving Ali Ford because he had a great performance. Also, Wood is coming back in because he impressed me the last game out. And Botaka is going to play from the left. Actually, no, Galloway. Galloway can come on as well. So hopefully, this team could go out and get us some some type of decent result. Let's go. Okay, and here we go. Away at Middlesbrough. We need a positive result in the league. You know, we've only got one point out of two games. It's a hard game to come up against. We, have, we haven't had the easiest start, but you know we have to be taking our chances. We've had chances to be winning these games, and hopefully today we're gonna we're gonna get some goals. Look at this, Deli Ali. Oh, it's a good start. It's a very good start. Come on, lads. What a oh, that's a big header. Chris Wood looks like he's gonna lead the line for this season until Ian Acho fucking sorts himself out. Excellent defending. And Ali's looking for the ball. Can Wood head that? Yes, he can. Liam Bridcut is in. Liam Bridcut. Penalty ref. Yes. It's a penalty. It's a pen. Is it a red card too? Send him off. 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 Oh, there's no, there's no card. Come on, Chris Wood. Top left. Bang. Get in the goal, son. Lovely. 1-0. Get in. It's excellent. He's set that up. That big header. To get Brid cut in. Great play. Go on, Wood. Wood's got in front there. Botaka. Oh, Wood. I'm trying to find Brid cut on the edge there. Unlucky, unlucky. Look at that from Kyle Bartley. Love it. Deli Ali's in. 2 0. It's a beautiful. We're clinical today. Deli Ali's first goal for Leeds United. Lovely goal. He you knows it somehow just got through there, his pass. But Cook has found him, and he's been clinical 2-0. This is more like it, boys. This is what I expected. Look at that. Lovely. Lovely first half. Two real chances. We've been clinical with both. Even though one was a penalty, you take what you can get. All right, start the second half. We're off. 
Turn me inside out. What a save from Silvestri. No. No. Oh, great save, Silvestri. He's made two good saves for us in the second half. Second half has been a bit poor. Might have to make some changes. Oh, ref. Put a red kit on. You're obviously on their side. You can't. And now we got to get back. Adoma gets a ball in. And we concede. Just like that. Just like that. Made a couple of changes. Ian Acho has come on and so has Dallas. Ian Acho's touch. What is that? Oh my God. That should be a goal. Oh, he's offside anyway, but I have no idea why the defender is letting that bounce. I don't know who he is, but I want to look at this replay and identify him. Baradi. Baradi, you just come across, he let it bounce. Fucking lunatic. A bit defensive here just to get over the line. Excellent, Ianacho. Can we end the game? It's Lewis Cook. Oh! He's touch let him down. He's knackered. Can't let him get down this side. That's how they scored from across. He's going to want to cross it in again, and he has. Keeper. Oh, my God. Baradi, that's what you should have done. The first goal. If we can win the ball here, we can get going the other way very, very quickly. Wood, can he do it? He's tried. And Ali's got it on to Botaka. Oh, we just can't do it. There's a lot of pressure in this, these last moments. Oh, it's bad. We'll just hold it for a bit. Hold it for a bit, goalkeeper. Hold it, hold it. And there you go. There's a first win of the season. Away at Middlesbrough. It's a tough game. And we've come away with three points. Well deserved. We took our chances. If we look at the stats, it's a very close game. They had one more shot, one more on target than us. They had more possession. That typical away performance. You get your chances, you take them, you get the fuck out of there. 2-1. Love it. That win pushes up to 13th in the league. Looking a lot more healthier than 22nd, I have to say. And the inquiries have come back. Nagby, I, I thought he'd be cheap. 5.5 mil. Valeri, 9 mil. Nick Powell, no interest in giving us Nick Powell. Oh, because he's, he's well in your... I hate Louis van Gaal, man. Fuck's sake. I've been looking in the free transfer uh, options. And this guy's come up. Pedro Quinones. And when you look at his stats, I mean, he's he looks decent. He's only short. But he looks quite nippy for a defensive midfield. He's going to get around. We have to remember Bridcar. I forgot the Bridcar, I think, goes in January. And for a free transfer, this guy looks a bit... He looks a bit handy. You know, so I think I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a look at him. They've come back with another offer for Casper Slough. It seems we ain't gonna get much more than that offer for him, so I'm gonna take it. it almost takes us back up to one million. Then his wages will also come off, so we can probably get another decent player in with that money. Okay, game two of the episode comes against Fulham at home. I'm not sure where they are in the league. Let's have a butch. Fulham are currently 18th. They've lost two out of their three games. So hopefully, we can put on a good performance. We had a good home game last time out against Sheffield Wednesday in the Carling Cup. I've just seen who, who we got in the second round, and it's Tottenham. So I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy about that at all. But yeah, let's go. Right, here we go. First half, let's go. Damari Gray is back on the left. I need him to show me something. It's lovely football around the edge of the box. He's in. Look at that. Oh, he's offside. He's offside. I thought Lewis Cook has took that so casually. But he's off. I'm going to Nacho. Show me something. And here's Gray. Opens his legs. Oh, it's shit, isn't it? Born back against his old team. We have to make sure he don't score. Lovely Bamba. And here's Gray. Gets out to Sam Byram. Gray carries on his run down the line. Can we find him? Yes, we can. It's lovely. Damari Gray. Gets round Hutchinson. Ah, oh, but it's gone out for a corner. Come on, can we do something just for half time? Gray? Oh my god, I thought it was top bins. I thought it was top bins, man. Ah, oh, the ref blows the whistle. And look at that. It would have been four on three. Right, second half. Let's go, let's go. Needs help. Finds Deli Ali. Ian Acho. Gets onto his left foot. Beats his man. Oh, yeah, Nacho. That's what I want to see from you, son. That's what I want to see. That's why I brought you in. Get there. Oh, Taylor. But Taylor's hustled from the front. Moat. Yeah, Nacho, who's hit the post. What has he got to do to score this boy? 
It's a lovely ball. Oh. And his Moat gets it to Gray. He's looking for movement. He's getting none of it. Bartley, we don't want you having it on the edge of the area. What a ball, though. Deli Alley. Oh. Ian Acho finds Alley. Skips past his man and gets his kneecap hacked off. Get your book out, ref. All right, we get Gray down here to pick it up. He finds Taylor. Taylor to Ali. He needs that run. Lewis Cook provides it. He's going to hammer it. Lewis Cook, top bins. Five minutes to go, the youngster. Looks like he's won us the game. Lewis Cook, don't fuck about. We've been dangerous all second half. Deli Ali shifts it to Cook, who bangs it. Top bins. You're not stopping that goalkeeper. 1-0. And there you go. Full time. Lewis Cook. One bit of magic at the end of the game. At the death. Gets us the three points. It's a lovely win. And yeah. Very positive about this the, this episode. We look at the stats here. Look at that. Dominate the game. More possession. They had one shot. Which I can't remember. I'm trying to think. Can I remember that shot? No, I can't. We've dominated the game. Got the three points at home. Lovely jubbly. On to the next one. I'm going to be try to be cheeky. And ask for another 2.5 million. I don't think they're going to let me have anything. It might be something like, oh, I'll give you 100k. Which I'll probably take at this stage, not going to lie. Anyway, guys, that'll be it for this episode. As you can see, we've got Tottenham coming up next. A very good episode. Positive uh, results. Two wins to push up the table. And, uh, yeah, I think we're in the promote. I think we're sixth or seventh. So, and it's still the start of the season, so we can push on a lot more as, as the episodes progress. But, yeah, thanks for watching and peace.